weather I know And so let's go Get in the flow I'll teach you whether you'll say Whoa, do the Tia twist Cause you're hanging with the meteorologist Hi kiddos, I'm Tia Tornado Today's Tia topic, barometers do the Tia twist with me, and we'll head to Weatherland. Here we go! Woohoo! We made it! Welcome to Weatherland. The sign for air pressure is this. So, anytime I say air pressure, make this sign. What do you think air pressure is? Let's take a look. Go like this with your fingers. Do you feel that? That's air moving in between your fingers. And that air has weight. And that's what we call air pressure. A barometer is a tool that measures air pressure. It was created a long, long time ago, back in 1643, by a scientist named Evangelista Torricelli. Torricelli's barometer looked like this. It had a long glass tube filled with a liquid called mercury. The tube was flipped upside down and put into a dish of liquid mercury. When Torricelli used his barometer, he noticed that the liquid would rise in the tube and fall down the tube. When the liquid in the tube would go up, this meant the air had more weight and there was more pressure or higher air pressure. When the liquid in the tube would go down, it meant there was less weight and less pressure or lower air pressure. Torricelli's discovery of the barometer proved that the air has weight or air pressure. But why do you think air pressure is important to weather? To help explain this, I need your help. Use the ground in front of you and start adding more air. Come on, pick up that air and throw it to the ground. Now stop. The ground in front of you has more weight. And as we remember, we call that areas of high pressure. On a weather map, we label that with a big blue H. With areas of higher air pressure, think H for happy weather. We usually see happy weather with high air pressure. Things like sunshine, and calm conditions. Now I need your help again. Start taking out the air from the ground in front of you. Come on, take it all away. Take as much air as you can out from the ground. Now stop. Now the ground in front of you has less weight. And as we remember, we call that areas of low pressure. On a weather map, 
we label those areas with a big red L. With areas of low air pressure, think L for lousy weather. We usually see lousy weather with lower air pressure, things like thunderstorms. So a barometer measures the weight of the air or air pressure. And knowing the air pressure will tell us what kind of weather conditions you will see. That's it for today. We're all done with this show. Do the Tia Twist because it's time to go. I hope you had fun. I'll see you real soon. Until next time, keep dancing to your favorite tune.